everybody thinks they have like the secret sauce to the door approach. And so many people are like, do my pitch, my pitch, this pitch, try this pitch, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna share a little secret with you guys. Everybody's door approach is great. And everybody has what I call brilliant one-liners or great objection overcomers or great pattern interrupt, blah, blah, blah. I've seen, and, and it's been interesting because I've been like shadowing and interviewing and seeing different people from all different industries and like really diving into like, okay, show me your door approach. Okay, show me what you do. Talk to me about kind of psychology of how you, how you start a conversation. Well, guess what? It's all the same. So what I found is there's some commonality and some, some common threads that, 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 that are a must in anybody's door approach. So I'm gonna share with you the first little bit, and then we're gonna kinda of go into it much, much, much more in the university and the work on. So, okay, so step one. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna share with you step one. Break their pattern. Okay, okay, I, I don't care if you're selling roofs, I don't care if you're selling uh, insurance or freaking Kirby vacuums. So I interviewed the Kirby vacuum guy and it was amazing. He's like, don't worry, don't shoot, I'm black. Like, it's okay, you probably don't, you know, here's my, like, he did something crazy. I had a freaking window cleaner dude, has 150,000 views on one of my YouTube channels. And literally, he, same, same pitch as the other Kirby dude. And I was like, wow, he's selling a $2,000 vacuum and a $30 bottle of window cleaner. What's the same? His pattern interrupt. So mine, believe it or not, a lot of you guys that don't know me, I ride a scooter door to door. And everybody's like, wait, 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 this grown man is, you know, riding a scooter. Yes, when I first did it, it was a Lightning McQueen scooter that I got from Walmart, 20 bucks, because I was in a neighborhood that I was like, man, these houses are too spread out. And I was like, this would be more efficient. So it then turned into like my trademark. It's like, I can't knock if I don't have a scooter because I think it's just retarded to waste that much time walking. Anyway, so my first line was like, okay, hey, you like my ride, you wanna try it? You make you sign a waiver. And they're like, oh, I thought that was my kids. And you're like, ha ha ha, and you laugh and you break their eyes. So there's a commonality and you'll find like some people create humor, some people have like a really just strategic powerful question that just hits them. They're like, hey, have you seen what's going on like over at your neighbors? And they're like serious, they're like, like, has anybody told you I was gonna be stopping by? And they like look at him and like, oh, no, no, no one told me what's going on. And it just breaks their pattern. So strategically coming out with an arsenal, cause I, hey, I'll mix it up. I don't use a scooter line every time. I'm crafty, I'm quick, I'm witty. It just depends on who answers the door. But the same, the common thread is there's a pattern interrupt. So that's step one. We're gonna go into all five steps of, door, of your door approach later. But here's just a short little tidbit, some fun little like nuggets for how to do a proper pattern interrupt. And there's three things. It's say something crazy, ask a cool question, or find common ground. So find something that you can, oh, you, you're a Chiefs fan too? Cool, I'm a Chiefs fan. Oh, did you see the game? You like Alex, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden you start talking about the Chiefs and they're like, well, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, like, I thought I thought you never ask. I just happened to knock on your door, blah, blah, blah. But those are three just simple little nuggets. Um, and we're gonna learn like, so Taylor McCarthy, Super cool dude, one of the best door knockers. He was the number one internet guy, the number one alarm guy, did over 400 every year, and the number one solar guy, solar city. I mean, he was just bad A salesman, Tom Hopkins certified, and he's gonna be teaching on the door approach. And psychology of closing, stuff like that. Also Chris Malink, he did 600 satellite accounts year after year. And it, it'll be so fun to kind of learn just how like a solar, an alarm dude, and a satellite guy, and then there's a pest control guy, like Aaron Seaver, he did 1,200 pest control accounts every freaking year. And just learning like, okay, so many different industries. I wanna hear your pitch. I wanna see what you guys do. That's what Door Orcon's about. Cause it's like, okay, if, if they do it and they do it and they do it, like, okay, Something here is common. We need to take that back to our company, our reps, our people, and do that. And that's gonna make us better. That's the secret of learning and the door approach.